Christopher Columbus is a jam blast ballad. Christopher Columbus is a jam blast ballad. Welcome back to the Steady Soul. Thanks for liking and subscribing on a listen. I was just getting ready to talk about Mark Jefferson Columbus, you know. And I checked my email and I noticed that a subscriber reached out to me. Yeah, man, me they go address the thing where I talk about propaganda. Because this man has been using projection, you know, accusing the prime minister and everyone else of the very thing that he's doing. So that situation will be addressed in this video. But you see the caller here? Yeah? She mash up evil steady, but he wanna show up. But we wanna check her out right now. We wanna hit the like button as you come in. Thank you so much, steady family. Thank you so much for always a tune in to the steady show. Enjoy this video right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mary to the show right now. Welcome, welcome Mary. What's going on? Not much, Mr. Steady, not much at all. Just, you know, enjoying the political environment. Boy, Both here and, and in Jamaica, really. I know. A whole lot has been going on. Every single day, we're not even getting any chance. It's just one thing after the other, eh? <laughs> I tell you, pure excitement. Some might good, some might bad, but I tell you, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> opportunities, every angle you turn. Opportunities, opportunities. People trying to stay relevant on the whole nine yards. Yes, indeed. Well... I am happy that you reached out to me, you know. I'm happy that you also chose the steady show. So, big up yourself. Thank you so much. Again, this is another short notice conversation. But as soon as I hear Mary, I say, man, I got to talk to her. <laughs> yeah, so talk to us about, talk to us about your thing. I will know that you're at JLP Street, correct? But of course, of course. All right. And, and, and mm -hmm. for that reason. Yeah. Um, you know, this this whole thing with the black man versus the white man kind of situation. Mm -hmm. I say I don't like it. And the reason why I don't like it is because if Mark was a black man in his position and Andrew was a white man in his position and the white man was doing better for the black people than the black man is doing, I'd still prefer to go for the white man. So and that is not a black man. I love it. I love it. I said the same thing too. Go ahead and talk. I don't want to interrupt you. But I agree. Right. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for me, growing up, I grew up in a JLP household. Mm -hmm. My parents, I was a late 70s child. I'm born 78. Mm -hmm. So my parents passed on the history. And as the eldest of four girls, second child of six. Mm -hmm. Then I was a little old man. You know them little old man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you go on. I'm not, I'm not saying anything about that. <laughs> go on. So when I was seven years old, I was getting my little list mm -hmm. with my money mm -hmm. to the market mm -hmm. and go buy things and carry back. My camera list go give whoever I need to get in the market and help them choose what my mother wants and bring it back. So I've been doing this. Mm -hmm. so I was well aware. I grew up as a very aware child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in the 1980s, when they had that big gas riot, at mm -hmm. that time, I was, I'm from Clarendon originally. Oh, awesome, Clarendon, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so, so that time, I had to walk. The bus carried half of the journey. We have to travel like 13 miles to go home from school. And the bus carried half of the journey, and I have to travel for my foot. Mm. A little weenie me, mm -hmm. walking for my little foot, <laughs> then go straight home because guess what? We were black. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? And I can remember that vividly until today. And I remember, I can't tell about June flood. I can tell about Gilbert mm -hmm. and all of them something there. So you know they make this they kind of stick with history. You've they seen a lot. You've was, seen a lot. Yeah, yeah. Man, we can't tell them what was three dollars pound for starfish. Me know all that. Ah, <laughs> all right, go ahead. All right. All yeah, right. yeah. So I, what I wanted to share especially was this. Yes. In 1989, I went to high school. Mm -hmm. Right. And when I just entered high school, I was the smallest child in the high school. I promise you, tiniest. Mm. Right? <laughs> You're a tiny and one. I used to pay sixty dollars per term. My parents paid sixty dollars per term for me to go to school in 1989. Mm -hmm. And you remember that's the year that the election came, and that's the year that People's National Party won. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That election that they should not have won. 
Red. Oh my God. The zinc scandal I... business there, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it was horrible. Mm -hmm. Because people really needed that kind of resource. But, anyways, mm -hmm. you know, when you have two good, like Mr. Siago was a very honest man. Yep. And and that's what comes with honesty. Honestly, that's what comes with it. Yes. But but do you realize though that you know the the propaganda business that's what they really use to tear down Siaga and they're using yes. it on Andrew up to this day? No, all your peace, man. All your peace. All right, all right, all right. I like it. I like it, I like it. Yes. In nineteen ninety I went to second form. Yes. And I remember it coming on the new Jeremy Saman said he could not afford to subsidize high school fees anymore. And so they were going to remove the subsidies. Mm -hmm. And my school fee jumped from $60 per term, which would have been $180 for the year. And it went to $1,000 for the year. What? Mm. That's crazy. And then it moved from, no, it wasn't $1,000. It was $400. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. $400 for the year. Mm -hmm. And by the time I go to third form, Mm -hmm. It went to $1,000 per year. From $60? From $60 in 89 to $400 in, in 90 to $1,000 in 91. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. And then, yeah, man. And then my school was a boarding school. So mm -hmm. because they're removing the subsidies, then the boarding system starts to fade out to nothing until it was non-existent. Mm-hmm. So the children who were coming from far and wide, who could depend on the boarding system and, and, and get certain kind of education and, and you know, certain kind of, I want to say, socialization was there. It was mm -hmm. controlled. That's cut out. I never did civics in high school, but my brothers went to a different high school. PMP they took that out of school. It. Yeah, PMP took that out of the, out of the school. Exactly. Mm. Early 90s is when they removed it. I remember all of them something, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. I promise you, study from that time, school fees just start to fly where other people reach. I never knew what say. I mean, as a high school student, I was depressed because as I tell you, the eldest girl, so I'm aware of my parents' finances. I'm aware of all of what was going on mm -hmm. in the school. Mm -hmm. It depressed me. We stopped performing at school. I, I can imagine. I honest about it with my parents. Mm -hmm. But it, it affected you, it affected you psychologically. Man. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Man. When my daddy, when my daddy pressured me, I said, why me not do nothing at school and why me not perform at school? Me know what me can't tell him. Wow. I wasn't getting books anymore because he couldn't afford it. Wow, wow. You know, everything flew out of our reach. Under and manly government. Yes. Mm -mm. Yes. And then, he's saying, <clears> we <throat> move the subsidy to territory institution. But Mr. Dan, what kind of money could I think so backward? Mm -hmm. If you mm -hmm. have done high school, how the hell you have to reach a tertiary institution? <laughs> 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 I mean for laugh, but that's, 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 you, you're right. It makes absolutely no sense. You see, Wilmot Perkins did say you know, that Manly had the look and he had the charisma, but a Manly could have make anything sound good, but when it came down to how those things would work, you know, in a common everyday situation. He was horrible. And this is what you're describing True. to me right now. Yes, he never look, he have, he have, he have the brilliant ideas, but he never know how the hell to get there. Mm hmm The socialist and if he program. knew mm -hmm. how to get there, PJ <clears throat> could never have become a prime minister in Jamaica. And then the PJ Era now, what do you have to say? Cause I want you to come right up right now. We get can we talk yeah. about the manly all the time now? What about the yeah, PJ yeah, era? What I you felt about I, that one? I remember the I shall return to speech because I was going to meet and mark in the evening when it met. Jesus, peace. These are some clear, vivid things right here, so? Yes. So what you heard it on the radio or something like that? I heard the people in the market would play their radios. Some some of them play radio, some of them because it wasn't like no way you play it just any kind of music you want. It was more you listen to a station. Yes, a absolutely, station. absolutely. And yes, they were playing it. I remember the people them who sell chicken for and Kalalu right out of the market. So, and yes, I was walking past them when they hear it. And mm -hmm. they were kicking up rumpus over it. Mm -mm. All right? Yes. And then, when I realized that he actually came back, I couldn't believe. Mm -hmm. I could not believe that's with people them Right after the people Shell Waver scandal that. right there, sir. Everything, Mr. Auction, you have somebody who... I didn't think he would return. 
When mm-hmm. I heard about the things, I didn't understand detail for detail what the scandals were about. Mm-hmm. But I knew it was nothing good. Mm-hmm. 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 And so when it came to the point of um, he actually, he had seen him actually return. And after that, I see Manly come out of the party and get to me like, no, man, I didn't kick him out there and I didn't make him sick. Mm-mm. No, sir. Mm-mm. When he died, I thought it was depression. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When man died, I thought it was depression. Mm-hmm. Now, with, with, with all of what happened in Pinsack and considering the person that PJ was, mm-hmm. I wasn't surprised. Why are you surprised about that? Why weren't you surprised, though? Because you talk honest, you know, so I want to hear your perspective on the situation. Right, why you surprised. weren't surprised. Because I, mm-hmm. I was a teenager then, right? Yes. You put a crook at the head of something. Them have this tongue where them say the head of this stream is dirty, so no clean water, no run into the gully. Shots fired. That's right. You couldn't expect somebody without morals and scruples to run a ship that is tight and full of morals and scruples. So you're saying to me that even as a teenager during that time, that was your perception of PJ Patterson? That he was a crook? When, when, when it came up, at first I just thought there was something shady when I read about those scandals and everything. Mm-hmm. But then I, when uh, later on in the 90s, that was my exact idea of him. There's something is wrong with this man. This man is a thief. Or if he get kicked out of the party for three scandals and then turn around and come back and turn prime minister, and they say, how oh, have that happen? The party, country, a nation like the, that the party politics. The party politics of the PNP is the worst problem, is the biggest problem in a Jamaica up till this day. That's what you're describing to me, and it hasn't stopped. You know, the PNP. It hasn't mm-hmm, mm-hmm, However, mm-hmm. it didn't change on them. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it didn't change on them because what happened is that. In the sem- in seventy two, according to what we are hearing, in seventy two, mm-hmm. before I was born, then they came in with one thing where they just wanted to give stuff away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But in the nineteen nineties, when they came, it was the same idea, but not to give, but to take. Okay, with the fin sack and everything. Yes, yeah, that's what they did. They they took stuff. They mm. they took it for for as you would say the boys' club. Mm-hmm. Yes. So there was the chosen few who benefited from the fin sack. Let me ask you a question. Do you recall what the perception of Omar Davies was and PJ during the fin sack era? What was the general perception that right. was happening in, the, in a Jamaica? Mm-hmm. At that time, people just felt as if they had no choice to go with, with, with what was going on. Mm-hmm. So, so people just felt hopeless. People, people in that time, I remember people thinking... Well, especially when the dollars man then hit the street, mm-hmm. people end up thinking that we would end up give up the Jamaica. I dollar remember that. Do, I remember when the dollars in the cars. My parents lived in Canada, you know. My dad still lives there, and I remember back in the day, in a young teenage them time there, and the, the selling of the buying of the the the, 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 the dollar was a big thing. They must spend yes. so much money. And you tell me, say, when I was young, I never know, say, how the government did they behind all of that? Uh, okay. I was hearing at that point that it was the bankers and the big businessmen who were behind it. I did oh not know government goodness. per se. That's wow. what I was hearing on the street. Okay, okay, okay. That it was bigger businessmen and, and certain people who had the money, the, the, the back it to go out there and do it. Mm-hmm. Apparently, the Bank of Jamaica was doing it too, according to that's, that's history. You understand, yes, no, ma'am. Didn't know that then. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right, continue. So, right. So, people thought, you know, people think it was end time, if you know what I mean. Every time PNP coming up for is end time, wow. one soon come. Wow. Right. So, people were more thinking that at the end of the day, them, them man here are running thing, we don't have no hope, we don't have no, 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 no nothing, we don't have nothing else to turn to. This was going to be it. But the people, you know, but the people kept voting scared. for them. The people kept voting for them. No, I don't know about that. But they kept winning. They kept winning by whatever <laughs> means they kept to you. Okay, okay. All right, go ahead, go ahead. All right. So people felt hopeless. And, and, and I want to say that more people could have really turned up to vote. 
but because they felt hopeless, they never really tried. They never mm -hmm. really tried to mm -hmm. give up, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so coming up now, in the 90s, then that was a different era of Jamaica losing money and resources, mm -hmm. just like they did in the 70s. Mm -hmm. So when it hit later on, I remember when the competition was between, when they were supposed to choose a successor for PJ, because... When they were busy doing what they were doing, they were not planning a future for the party, and that's why the party is in the condition it is in today. Uh huh. No succession planning never gone in there. I remember when PJ said that something about proportion not being just um, their hope. She is our only hope. So they never want to give the leadership to Peter from that time because they thought everybody was tired of the man. Them we losing. Um, sorry, leading. All of this time. So, therefore, make we get rid of them and just try the woman. Because if we use the woman, she's certainly going to win. Okay. Wow. So, I remember him saying that she was our only hope. That means that she, could have, she was the only way the PNP could have won. So, it was just another strategy without a plan again. Exactly. Oh, my See, God. He would have been in the background running things. Mmm. They think him stupid. Mm -hmm. He's a very smart man. I remember he with is. the bridge. Then put up a bridge at St. Thomas and when the rest of man tell him, say, look here, that bridge can't go there, so it now go stay there. He tell the man, shut up your damn mouth. <laughs> and a few months later, that river come down and you see the bridge roll up down the river stream. Wow. It came on the news. Wow. These people, the current people in the party who is leading that party, the PNP to be exact. Mm-hmm. <coughs> them pick the party, them do what they want. Do that for them business. Mm. Them, them having them one party. Them party business are them party business. Yes. All right, go on. But I can tell them this much. Yes. Them think them could have come back with this tr same strategy again and try to fool people. But the, when them planning, they don't realize that them kind of something, they're kind of out of style. Mm -hmm. And it gone left them. So they yes. don't know how to strategize with Oh students. my you know God. Let me give you a hand clap. You come for talk, you know? Talk to me. <laughs> Ever like. <laughs> yeah. So them coming now with the propaganda and something they might try to use against Andrew. That the kind of fashion they don't wear a long time. Mm-mm. And God of God, anywhere you put him. God of God, God, anywhere we put him. I love that. Because even this evening, you know, I see this thing on Nationwide, you know, where Golden come and I talk about he was talking in, in, in a South East St. Elizabeth there and oh, we're going to hear a whole lot of things and it's just propaganda and distraction and all kind of things. In other words, the very same things he's doing, I wonder if he realized that it was propaganda when he came and him told life and the Prime Minister about illicit enrichment and up to this day, look at the kind of damage and rift that is that has caused and still causing. So the propaganda king is out here still telling lies. But I hope those people of South East St. Elizabeth won't fall for the foolishness. Propaganda them must spread. Them mm -hmm. They are farmers. Most of St. Elizabeth people are farmers. They understand how to make life and they know that not, not happen overnight. Yes. And if them want one big old orange looking man to come up and tell them foolish and them want to swallow it. <laughs> I love it. Talk to it. Talk to it, Mary. Talk to it. Mm -hmm. them, if them want to sit down and believe that man, that man himself is a propaganda. Oh, yeah, he is. He is. Them don't have no stable foundation until today. And everybody must understand that if somebody was benefited from criminal activities in the past, how do you expect better from them now? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You not be any better. What do you think about JLP? Do you think they need to strengthen the messaging? Because just the other day we hear Andrew talking about the fact that the people them who benefited from FinSAC, such as Mark Golden and Bunting, and them are trying to run the country today. Do you think the JLP need to strengthen their messaging as it relates to what them did do in the past? They need to. Yes. They need to do this and they need to do it so that the small man can understand. Yes, yes, yes. Right? PNP, like to say, 70% of Jamaica is illiterate. I don't know where they get that from because that's foolishness. That... You see how much in the past they are? 
Yes, very true. Everything moved on like that. And you can All see right. how it comes out to you know, when they're in parliament. You realize that they cannot really bring any kind of intellectual, you know, contribution to the conversations. Their strongest, the strongest thing they do out there is really the propaganda and the lies. And maybe that's why they stick with it because intellectually they're not ready for this. Because as you said before, there is no succession planning. So there was nobody there that's teaching anybody coming afterwards how to do anything. So everybody is just kind of winging the thing that's what exactly. i am getting mm. exactly you understand <clears throat> so they never have the future them party in in any 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 planning any future not not all in them head and it's the same thing they're going to do with jamaica if them get it mm -hmm. we cannot do it what do you think about the local government election the other day though i mean oh, no. what about that the traction i like it mm. that's what? a big deceiving <clears throat> something for the pnp really Yes. So tell me exactly what part of it you're, you're commenting on. All right. Yeah. The results. Because if the PN, the, you see how quick Mark get up and start to jump up and say, yeah, 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 we have this and feel like him gaining traction. Yes. It couldn't have been worse this year. Mm. So I feel like him could have come out with that now and start fall out how them want election and them going to make demands and them can spoil up this and them going to do propaganda and them going to make Jamaica call for election and... But none of it has worked. Yeah, that 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 not gonna work. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you're aware of this twenty million dollars that um, supplies some housing I'm development. In the yeah, in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. Yeah. I, I, I listen to all of these platforms. I listen to what's going on. I don't go on them and go on the lives and stuff and all these things. Every now and then I put a comment, but I don't. I I, I pick up the information and yes. So I want to know if the people in my Jamaica realize that ma make sure that when Jamaica go down, we not go down with nothing see him. Oh my goodness. Same way, so let me just let me <laughs> shots fired. In other words, up to now we don't know if Mark renounce. Mark is investing his money in one in a trust fund. You know, so him have proven in a British Virgin Island, in a Bermuda, yes. in a in a in a in a all of these places. So He's not investing any money in a Jamaica. We don't even no. know if he's still a dual citizen. And yet, exactly. they're still running behind Mark as if they don't realize, say, when push come to shove, Mark can run away from this unaffected and left the whole of Wedonia in a problem exactly. again, just like they did over 30 years ago. Exactly. All he needs to do, if him hurt, if him win... If him win, which we not think him will ever win because if we give it to, give to him to go to him, he go back to Jamaica. Boy. If him win, then him can him, him have more to gain. Mm -hmm. And if him lose, him not have nothing to lose. Mm -mm. Exactly. Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose because he has his business in this island, in that island, in the other island, and in Jamaica, him declared $200,000. What? And the, and the same... Worthless Integrity Commission that took time out to, to investigate the Prime Minister for over three years. They know even the house that Mark had in his name, I think up to 2021 or 2022, they, and him recently changed it out in the name I'm company. Somebody came and said she was questioning him about you know, how he does that and what he reports to the Integrity Commission. And she, she's saying that she's surprised that him not declare, but they let him go free. But you saw the integrity commission the other day. I don't know if you saw anything about it. But based on what they went on with in parliament, you know that on my channel I talk about, I am of the view that they are just another political witch hunt body for the PNP, doing the PNP's work. And when they were in parliament the other day, I believe they confirmed that by their behavior. It's called deflection. So no matter what you throw at them, they make it go over there. So like, it's nothing. You're just trying to make me look bad. You're just trying to make me look bad. And none of them realize that we pick up, the nation has picked up that you were always trying to make the prime minister look bad. That's what you were doing. Yes. So now that heat under your behind, take it. Yes. Take it. Yes. You deserve it. Yes, I love that. So basically, I said then, with everything that has happened and is happening, you don't see Mark Gold in them um, winning the election the same way. They cannot win by the propaganda and the foolishness because let's throw this into it. Vote buying, we know it's a big thing. Like, 
Yes. The show that I did today, I look at Eastern Westmoreland. It's a yes. vulnerable seat. And um, I think the guy won by, by magisterial recount. Humble guy, he doesn't talk. So I'm of yes. the bulldog, Jensek, which is Dayton Campbell. Him want Dayton in the parliament with him to create the bangarang, you know. So this is how yes. him basically I look at everybody and say, yeah, man, I'm going to stick this one and this one and this one there. So. But these mm -hmm. places are places that are traditionally PNP. So yes. I just want to know that the people them get smarter now, are wiser now, and will not allow them to come in with the foolishness again. Listen, mm -hmm. PNP have all sorts of spirit mm. with them. And I'm going to tell Andrew this much. Mm -hmm. And not just him, including the little man who you said don't talk much. Mm -hmm. Nothing did prior because Almighty God still their heaven. I love it. I love it. God over everything and everybody. I like that. Every single thing because... It's not fire there with a man there with it, you know, not only I'll play this fire, I've come against bad men. Yes, I've yes, yes, it. yes. Okay, is that fire there? Yeah. It's a well-prayed prayer. Well-prayed prayer. I love that. I love it's that. Show until today. I love that. I love that. So, okay. we can have faith that God will see Jamaica through because we can't go back, you know. We, we cannot go work. back. We have to work because they say faith without work is dead. It's dead. We have to work. So the people them need to be out there, get enumerated, yes. bring people yes. go vote, get the young people them involved, do everything. Yes. So we have to fight. Nice. So you believe that we have to we have to fight for this election, yeah? We have to fight for it and keep eyes open because they have a way of working in a negative direction to do what they to achieve the goals that they want, and we have to. It. And you've been seeing this long time because you 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 grew up you grew up understanding and knowing yes. the ways of the PNP from the yes. from the teachings of your parents until your own experience up till this day. Yes. Up until this day, mm. but you have to remember this to understand that smart people do smart things, mm -hmm. right? So when. When um them say you can't beat them, you have to join them, don't. Mm -hmm. Yes. So here was Mark, don't know. Mark is a financial lawyer, right? Yes. And why end up doing with the people and money them? <laughs> why am doing a fincer? Mm. I thought up. Me said that all the while too, you know. Me said Mark Golden has the knowledge, but he uses the knowledge for the benefits of Mark Golden. He uses what he knows as evil. Remember, see, Mark came up with the. The integrity commission thing. I just see how much flaws. I even write them building. Right. And he, he wrote them knowing very well that they're going to cause problems too. I believe yes, that he's he that manipulative. Yes. He has to protect himself because he knew the plan. He, had, he knew where he got his money from. He knew how things went. And so he had to write a bill to protect himself when he removed his money from Jamaica. Because remember, you know, there was no there was no integrity commission. Remember, you know, OCG investigated Mark and found that, you know, they did, you know, they did get the sweetheart deals yes. from DBG yes, Days True. All right. All right. You're talking to me. So I'm saying, right after Andrew won the election in a 2016. At 2017, they came up with the whole integrity commission and then they put everything together, the OCG, even the other one there, whereby the Auditor General, whereby, now you hear Juan Mintana say, no man, they're supposed to be able to, you know, investigate them. They should be able to investigate mm -hmm. them and audit them to see what's going on because it could yeah. just be another PNP money laundering scheme and exactly. the, the thing set up you know for... Yeah, mm -hmm. You know what they did is that they 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 wrote they put everything together. Yes. Right? They put the laws and everything together. And according to what I was hearing, I think on was it on the weekend? I don't remember if it was the weekend because on the weekend when I can join the lives and stuff and listen to the shows immediately. Mm -hmm. I've listened to them like the following day, maybe two days later, I'm still listening to politics. Mm -hmm. And somebody they mentioned that Andrew Malalu, Malalu Fort did say that the whole thing needed to be rewritten. Yes. When he went through it. But because they knew that if it was rewritten, 
then Ma could not get away with all of what he's getting away with right now and being able to put this natural spawn and that's not that and that's not that behind it. Everything would have been able to be investigated. Is he? A smoke screen. Smoke screen. And then when you talk about Mark, Mark is a financial lawyer, Mark Metro them using law to do fit him one thing. Isaac couldn't beat the system and get arrested too much time. What I'm gonna do? Turn criminal lawyer. Criminal mm -hmm. defense lawyer. Mm -hmm. I know him a PMP politician. On top right. Almighty God, how one man fit you so much. Oh my God. But they, they have aligned themselves all the way out with the criminals now. Like, them not try to hide, you know, even the people no, them... they're not. Even the people no, them from over not. the other side, from the aquarium side. And them and yes. them too, so... Yes. Them are do everything so and anything. Doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, what they've been doing is that they've been using... Yes, you're going... If you don't know how fit, they don't necessarily learn them profession to do any good with it. They mm. learn it so that they know how to beat it. Wow. That is, but that's what we're seeing right now. Yes. When Isaac go learn criminal law so he know how to beat crime, Mark go learn financial law so he can learn how to become a, a, a decent group. You see Chief Curry him over there so same way. You see how him a move. I try, I try to get up in the ranks. If I try to get in the system. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going with Pino. If you're not a survivor, you're not a survivor. Mm. What do you mean by if you're not a survivor, you're not a survivor? Them do what them do. And if you're lucky, if you get away with it, you're gone. But if you get caught, you're there for your own. Okay. And this has always been the PNP. This is always how they have been operating. One of the I things I... I you that come back so strong. Yes. You remember back in the day when them used to talk about the Gang of Five? And the yeah, other day when Peter, yeah, them always point out some people. I tell people that it's a strategy, you know, like even when I think Peter Phillips lose about five has been fingered and them always use that strategy, you know. So when you see Mark Golden come back about illicit six now, illicit eight and all of these things, it's an old strategy that they're using. You know this. Thank you that they keep bringing back those things, hoping it will work. But we know it's like, you know, barefoot pants stop for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't have one with them. A barefoot pants stop for a wear? I don't even know what they might wear because for them jeans are made of dance. I like it. Oh, my goodness. Fire on the steady show tonight. Mary's in the building. Mary. Listen, this is just your entrance to the steady show because you have to come back and talk to we. Because we need people to come and present the facts from how PMP was until... Because all the young people, them nowadays, what you really have to say about... You know how much young people online every day, you see the channels out there talking about PNP as if them know more than the people them who live through it. Them grandmothers, right. them mothers. Exactly. Well, listen, when I was in Jamaica and I was at work and people said to me, tell me something you really feel like, say, you really feel like, say, JLP, you go better than the PNP. Me said, let me tell you something about the PNP party. The PNP party come like picnic farm playground. Mm -hmm. Then they, 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 they own a play good, good, or your seminar around. Mm -hmm. And then never stop. A full run, your full run. Your, and when the minute you turn around and slap them, and then ball out like you kill them. <laughs> so, they've always been a very effective opposition in the sense that mm. no matter how small the thing might be with the JLP, whether it's one funny you know, look, funny look, then then break it to tell everybody say JLP gone wrong. Mm. And then they've got big knives over it so they get all the attention. Mm. They've always been effective that way. They're not necessarily have to talk the truth. Mm -hmm. They always have Oh been my wrong. God, you're you're saying exactly what I've always said. When it come down to it, it's not true. That's why I tell people sometimes, go out there, campaign, make some noise, talk about the good things of the JLP yes. because you cannot use intellectual conversation and no. convince these people. You can't. No. no, and I always tell my friends, well, I don't have a lot of friends, but people who I discuss politics with, I tell them, say, me can't eat chicken every day and my neighbor eat chicken back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At some point... My neighbor, I was say, no, every day you are eating chicken, no one tastes chicken. I'm out here on my kitchen, come people. Yes, 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 yes. So well said. Time, yes. Me can buy chicken. Me can buy 
buy chicken, and the person down the street can buy chicken. Everybody that eat chicken and they need to go in the body yard, go take out what they have. That's what I say, and that's the JLP way. Yes, everybody needs to be on a certain level, that everybody can live a certain standard of life and nothing less. And these people, these people, because if you look at it, you know, the whole country now have to in this mode where we have fixed road, road are fixed, road are fixed. Because the PNP go through all the times, use the state resources to do, and that's why they fight and then go along so with their one another. Because at the end of the day, they know that it's all about money. And when it comes to illicit enrichment, you know, and them are the poster child for that, you know. I don't, I think illicit enrichment for them is a nice term. It's a nice it term. It's too decent of a term. I don't have the term for them. My God. I don't have the term for them. It's not illicit, no enrichment. No, it's not that. It is much worse, but I don't have the term. I have to go dream it up. I have to go dream up a term. <laughs> mm -hmm. My goodness. All may I say is this. Jamaica, we have to be careful and... I am so happy that the people in the diaspora, they are speaking out. Because I remember you know, the other day, you see what they want, Ratigan Ben, I try to do over there. Oh, I try to convince people in the diaspora. I mean, the PNP, them not have no bounds. Like right now, we know that bunting them company are not the too good, Mark Golden. So they need the government yes. to enrich themselves again. Yes. And yes. that's what they are fighting for at the end of the that day. That is exactly what they're going for. It's they not about serving the people of Jamaica. No. No, you think they're not... Look, listen, all that money that they're spending now, mm. in an attempt to get into power, that's an investment that they're making. That's, and the, the most... People are investing with a hope to get a big return. That is the reason why when Mr. Commander realized that the investment don't look like it's of a turn when want it return. That's the reason why you're hearing all this thing about them are finance and them 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 um conference the other day. Because oh. certain people who have certain wealth for certain money decide to me not spend all that red cent, you know, because me really don't know all that investment here go because right now you know look promising. Okay, okay. Okay. If they mean short the market but the money they will be spending bigger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They would be spending bigger. You would not see having to collect money in a conference from poor people. Mm -hmm. So they might rely more upon the propaganda. Yes. Mm. Yes, and young people, young people, uh, my, my advice to them is try to know more about your history. Them say, you don't know where you have come from. You don't know where you're going. And you know, I'm going to realize you're standing ground when it is too late. So don't do it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Don't do it. Wow. And we, as the persons who know it, we need to break it down for them. I don't need to cut them off when I tell them. We just need to explain it to them. Take them in a smaller group. And they, them say, them, PNP is doing this. They are dividing and conquering. That's what they are hoping to do. Yes. Split the people them. <clears throat> so they yes. can conquer. We can do the same thing too. Yes. Go up on the street corner, divide them up. Take the ringleader. And give my idea. Just throw an idea in and become curious. We have to be strategic. Yes. When you become curious, I start ask questions. Be honest with him. Tell him both sides. Tell him good and bad. For the both sides, make him making choice. Wow. Wow. Everybody can think. Mary, man, if I go call back your phone so I can talk to you about this politics, you know, because this is a whole lot of thing that you drop out, which they, you know, real, real valuable information. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't know if you have anything else to share with us. You know, we don't like to keep it too long because people attention yeah, span yeah, short. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. understand me? And people have to go work and think too. So. Yes. I never did say good night when I start. So good night, everybody. <laughs> good night. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yes. And I'm going to make sure to stay safe, continue to spread the word. As I said, we don't need to be hostile to anybody. Cook your big pot and call everybody and talk to them and don't cost one soul. Just just, just throw the seed. Make them become curious and I'll give them the information. Well said. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you very much, Mary. Make sure you tune in for more. Remember to reach out to thesteadyboss at gmail.com if you want to talk on the Steady Show. Thank Mary so much for a wonderful conversation. Make sure you comment and show her some love. 
If you haven't subscribed to The Steady Show yet, make sure you do that. Thanks for always supporting The Steady Show. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Steady.